All righty. So what did we do after we did step one? What did we do when we did when we went to step two? What happens now? Good, we need to plug in. So what do you want to plug in for Y? 1125 sounds good. What are we going to plug in for M? 1. What are we going to plug in for X? So it's not going to be 6 because we used 1125, so it's got to be the 8. All right. And then what will go here? 1125. What will go here? 8. And then what do we do to both sides? Minus 8 on both sides, which gives us 3.25. Then we are on to our step 3. What is our final step? What does that look like? We plug in. Good. So what's going to go here? A 1. What's going to go here? 3.25. Awesome. All right. So for number 4, for number 4, we can do this actually a couple ways, which is kind of nice. We can actually plug in and see if it works, which might be a little bit easy for some of us. Or we can do exactly what we did before. I'm going to plug in just to show you another strategy in case it's multiple choice. So do you see how it says y equals negative 7x minus 19? So I'm going to plug in 0, 0 first just because it's easier. So in place of y, I'm going to put 0. Then I'm going to put 0 in place of x, and then I have minus 19. 0 equals 0 minus 19. Does 0 equal negative 19? No, it does not, which means that can't be the answer. All right? So I'm going to do the same thing for this one. In place of y, I'm going to put 0. In place of x, I'm going to put 0 as well. So then from there, we are going to... Does 0 equal 0? It does. So this is a maybe. I want you to try C and see if it works out. Welcome back. So we should have 0 equals negative 19 times 0 minus 7. 0 equals, that cancels out. 0 does not equal negative 7, so that one's out. Try the last one. See if the last one works. Welcome back. 0 equals 19 over 7 times 0. 0 does equal 0. So that means it's one of these. So now we go and we plug in this and see the other point and see which one works. Okay? So I'm going to plug in in B. I have negative 19 equals 7 over 19 times negative 7, which means if I put that into Desmos, right, I can put that into Desmos, and it'll give me an answer, and it'll give me negative 49 over 19. Those two don't equal each other, so that doesn't work. Let's double check this one, though. See if that one does, see if D does work. Oh, it does work, which means D is our answer. Great job. All right, for number five. An airplane at 3,000 feet begins its descent. The plane descends 500 feet per minute. <coughs> so what's our equation going to look like? Y equals MX plus B. What's going to go in place of M? That per minute should have been your clue. So we should have negative 500 because this says descends. And then what's our B? 30,000. All right. For six, for six, let's figure out what our M and our B is, and then let's plug them into our equation. What is our M? Welcome back. So this was up two, and this was over one, two, three, four, but notice it's going by fives. So that's 20. So I have 2 over 20, which equals 1 tenth, and it crosses right here at 1. So what's my equation? Y equals 1 over 10x plus 1. Great job. All right, 
Last but not least, the cost to manufacture five toys is $17.50. The cost to manufacture 10 is $30. Write a linear equation. So I want you to try to do this, and then you can look at the answers and see if 